Hello and welcome to my tarot corner. <clears throat> now, you may believe it or not, but after doing the uh, reading about the Harkos children this morning, I, <clears throat> I, ha I went to, uh, to get a rest uh, in the afternoon and I fell asleep and I had a dream that I had to do a Lenormand uh, reading about Lilibet because <clears throat> because her reading was so confusing. And I even dreamt that I need to use this deck, the Under the Rose Lenormand, because this is one of the few decks that I have that, also, uh, that doesn't only have um, uh, two men and two women, but also two children. <clears throat> and both children are girls, if I'm not mistaken. So, <clears throat> I even thought about how to do that uh, reading. So this is what I'm going to do right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle it and then uh, and ask the question about Lilibet. And then I'm going to look in the deck for the two girls. And from each girl, I'm going to take two cards uh, before, one card after, and then I'm going to take all nine cards. It's nine, um, six, seven, eight. No, that's not nine. Um, then I'll take, uh, well, I'll see how I do that, but I'll take nine cards. And then um, uh, after I take nine cards, uh, I will um, um, do a nine card um, uh, spread and see the relationships between the girls and see if a mother does come on got, come on and uh, when we do have two ladies here so if we get the uh, this lady which is uh, a colored woman uh, that would be Megan if we get another lady uh, the other lady, which is a, a white woman, if I'm not mistaken, then it will be another woman and not Megan. And this is it. So let's see what we get. Uh, so first I'm going to shuffle to clear the energies. And I'm going to ask to uh, investigate a little bit, investigate the energies around Lilibet, investigate the energies around Lilibet. This is <laughs> curious that this lady popped out and I can also uh, take her out. And no, I won't because I, it's, she's still important. Uh, in <clears throat> energies around Lilibet, energies around Lilibet, energies energies around a little bit okay so now let's look for the children it's number 13 if I'm not mistaken so from the first card uh, I'll take two and two and then from the skin okay so this is the one child so I'll take him two before and two after and that's one one two three four yeah five okay and now I'm looking for the other child Okay, this is it, so two before, and that's, uh, wait a minute, I had five, six, seven, eight, and one after nine. Okay, so let's see, this. I do have nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I took one more, and just, Take one out. Just make sure that it's not a child. No, it's the lady. No, let's put it in back in. And let's 
see which one is this. It's another child. Okay, so now let's shuffle it again and see how it aligns. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And let's see how they are related. So here we have the fish, so this is the money card. And here we have the black child, or the colored child. I don't know what is correct to say today. This is the house. Here we have the clouds that are making things shifty and the mice that are eating everywhere. And here we have the bouquet, which is a kind of a good card. Here, here we have the rider, the one who brings news. And here we have the other child, and that is the whiter child. And here we have Megan. So I would say that uh, the, the darker child, or the child that was probably Megan's, is not with her now. She now has a brighter child. And as one of you wrote in the comments, someone who might be even uh, look alike of Diana's, because she's a br very bright, uh, uh, blue-eyed and uh, uh, blonde. Uh, now, the, the, the main card here is the mice, and the mice are a very nefarious card. The mice are eating everywhere. They are the sign of uh, destruction. The mice bring loss, this bring sorrows, and this is theft. They are eating in everything that is good. So, uh, and the writer brings uh, news. And clouds are usually, uh, you look at the bright side or the dark side of the clouds and uh, they tell us whether or not uh, which is the best side to be on. But at any rate, the clouds are always uh, pointing to something that is unclear. So everything around the children is unclear. You can see that both children are uh, aligned with, uh, the same way with the with the clouds. Now the fish here is speaking about a lot of money, so it is uh, it co probably cost was costing them a lot of money to get those children, both girls. There were both two girls, that's for sure, and uh, uh, the the first one, which is the one that had. Uh, Megan's DNA uh, is not there anymore and looks like they had to get another one which is uh, the uh, uh, a bright brighter skinned one maybe they couldn't get one who was uh, darker skin um, this is the house and the house is a, a card that stands for home and uh, this is a place for uh, uh, to feel comfortable. So it doesn't look like uh, Megan feels too comfortable in her house. This child was in the house, but is not there anymore, or at least Megan is not there with this child. And here we have the bouquet, and the bouquet is also a, a, a good card that uh, it, it is the flowers, it speaks about luck, uh, speaks about uh, getting an invitation or a, a getting engaged. So uh, the bouquet is, uh, uh, is a good card. So there, uh, all uh, so and both children also align with the bouquet. So when they arrived, both of them, uh, it, it made at least 
uh, Harry or some, they, it made them happy. So that was a happy news. But then there was a loss. Then there was a loss and the, this child is not around Megan anymore, has no connection to Megan. This child does. The writer is the one that brings news. And because he's the one who be, bring news, uh, it could be the news about the destruction about and you can see that the darker side of the of the clouds uh, is towards the night the rider so it looks like the news that he brought were not a good good news and since he is close to megan i would say that these these are uh, news that were that did come to Megan and they were probably around the child. And so altogether, I would say that uh, there were two children, there were two little bits. Uh, the, the one that, that had uh, Megan's DNA, Megan's DNA, something was wrong with her. Something was, and I did say that in previous uh, readings that I did about Lilibeth, something was wrong. Now, it doesn't even mean that she's dead, but as I said in uh, my previous uh, first, first reading that I did about Lilibeth, I'm a pediatrician, and it's not uncommon to see couples who uh, whose uh, ch child uh, has any kind of birth defects or uh, problems that decide to just uh, uh, leave the child in the hospital and uh, uh, abandon the children and uh, wait f and just give them up or uh, give them to or leave them in the hospital we had children that actually grew up in the hospital because uh, no one would take them. Uh, we had children that uh, were given to monasteries and uh, I'm talking about uh, uh, sometimes very, very uh, um, religious couples that wouldn't do an abortion because, although they knew that the, the child is going to be uh, defected but uh, gave them up to a monastery to be uh, to be uh, brought up there. So uh, it is not uncommon uh, when someone has to have the perfect child uh, to just leave the child and uh, go look for another chill child. So I do have this feeling that something very, very bad happened and it could be uh, regarding her, uh, her uh, health now this can also be a home where she is right now this is not the, ver the same place where megan is and this could be a home where she is hospitalized but if i know that they are at least here there are places where they put children uh, uh, who have a uh, uh, defects and the, the parents cannot uh, uh, take care of them so they there are places for children like that so this could be also the house where this child is and it does cost a lot of money so this can also be the interpretation of this line but something very bad happened they got some very very bad news and there is a lot of confusion about this child and then they got some new good news and those good news could be that they found a second child someone that was uh, give and take the same age and looked uh, enough uh, good uh, looked uh, uh, good enough to be uh, passed as at least uh, Harry's child. So this could be an explanation for uh, the reading that I got this morning. So this is it for this reading and I am going to do another reading later on to see why did the uh, mainstream media didn't even uh, consider asking the question of why wasn't Lilibet shown to the public or why did nobody ask question 
about this child. So I will do that in a different uh, video. I hope you liked this one. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, liking uh, apparently helps the uh, uh, YouTube, uh, um, how, does it, how, how is it called? They, they have algorithms. So liking a video helps the algorithm and then the video is suggested to other people that do searches with the same uh, uh, search terms. So I would very much appreciate any likes that you do give me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.